One next. Hey, looking good, Tyler. A few more reps, you have legs like Emmett Smith. <laughs> I'd rather have legs like Michael Jordan. He makes more money. <laughs> <laughs> well, your rehab's coming along great. Okay, say hi to the kids at the center for me. All right, no problem. All right. Hey. Oh, don't tell me. Another one of those underprivileged kids you're giving free therapy to? Max, don't say it like you smell something bad. <laughs> underprivileged kids too but it's expensive and we can't help anyone if we're out of business look if it'll make you feel any better i'm about to sign a very lucrative account with the hollywood stuntman association and it'll more than pay for our pro bono work all right hundreds of injury prone union men oh thanks man <laughs> what do we have here dear max honey for my honey this must be for mercedes max you forgot the sign for uh, do, do you mind no <laughs> Contains live bees. Do not open indoors. <laughs> what kind of kinky games are you and your girlfriend into? <laughs> let me let me see that slip. Oh, I should have known. It's from that sleazeball Goldwire. Who, the guy who runs the sports clinic across the street? I thought I told you two to stop this juvenile feud. Look, this is not juvenile, and he started it. <laughs> No, you started it when you wrote Ebola Research Institute on their clinic doors. <laughs> he stole three of our clients. He even took the Mercedes emblem off my car and replaced it with a Geo sticker. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Look, in arguments like these, both sides end up losing, all right? You best to just turn out the cheek. So you're saying I should moon him? <laughs> I'm looking for Marion Hill. How you doing? I'm Marion Hill. T-Rod Jones. How you doing? This is Dr. Max Stanton. How are you? Hi. All right. T-Rod's company does the toughest stunts in Hollywood. Yeah, we uh, heard about your clinic on the set of Steel. I doubled for Shaq. <laughs> you doubled for Shaquille O'Neal? Well, it was a scene where he was on fire. Okay. <laughs> Always wondered how they make those fight scenes look so real. Oh, it's simple. Stella, triple jam. <laughs> What? Oh, hey, try that with me. Right there. You ready? Yeah. Hold it back. I got your back. What, 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 what? what? Come on, baby. Project style. You want some of this? No big D, no doubt, baby. No big D, no doubt, T. Yeah. Rogers, shoulders dislocated. We'll immobilize it and get you to the hospital stat. No need for that. Oh, ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. Actually, I'm in excruciating pain right now, but I'll scream later. Come on, I'll show you the rest of the clinic. Cool. You know, it's down to you and the Goldwire Clinic as to who gets our account. Well, I'm sure you find we're superior in every way. Did you hear that? Goldwire's in the running to steal another account from us. Well, we can't let him get it. Oh, I hate that Goldwire with his Armani suits and perfect hair. Yeah. Tall, good body, sexy eyes, <laughs> big feet. That man ain't a <laughs> Hello, Stanton. Well, if it isn't Dr. Groin fire. There she is. The arresting beauty who makes you want to commit a crime. Don't even try to sweet talk me, brother, because I can see through you like saran wrap on a broken car window. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, got something on your eyelid. Is it gone yet? Who cares, baby? All right, all right, all right. Listen, Goldwire, Tonya's arresting beauty and all her eye crud belong to this clinic. <laughs> yeah, well, I need to be going anyway. By the way, I'll be taking that stuntman account away from you, just like all the others. <laughs> <laughs> that human oil slick is not going to get that account. You know, I've really been thinking about this, and I know exactly what to do. All right. I lure him out on a date. Get real close to him. 
Make the brother strip down to his underwear. And, and then? I don't know. That's as far as my fantasy got. <laughs> three term papers due in three days. We are completely unprepared. How did this happen? And teachers have no idea the party load that we're under. <laughs> oh, man, college is whack. They let you party, they don't take attendance. Then bam, papers, midterms, finals. I mean, why don't they just tell you you're supposed to be responsible? I mean, what is it, a damn secret? <laughs> oh my God, I'm dead. Look at my psychology notes. Look like a dribble done scribbled all over these. <laughs> yeah, man, peep mine out. Let me see. Oh, Carl, these are really good notes. I didn't get half of this stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm in the psych. Oh, and you even have the chapter on the Oedipus complex. Yeah, it makes you want to think twice about saying your mama to somebody. <laughs> well, thank you for these. Now I just have to worry about English because my philosophy paper is practically done. Oh, can, can I use you your notes? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. Okay, look, right now, you're good in philosophy and Carl, you got psyched down. And I am all over English. Why don't we each take our strongest subject and write three papers? Won't the instructors get suspicious if three identical papers come across their desk? Not if we word them the way each of us would write them. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling you. Get your facts, mm -hmm. your figures, right. kick a little flavor up in it, then booyah! <laughs> hey, count me in. Right. Three psych papers coming up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Ray? Okay, I'm in. <laughs> All right, now, Carl, before you write mine, baby, you do know that booyah is not a word. <laughs> So you can donate a van to bring the kids over to the clinic. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Hey, hey, if you ever get your leg mangled, I'm your man. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're sending some more kids over from the center for us to help. I've got to land this stuntman account. Marion, I know it's none of my business, but um, you're going to go broke helping these kids. Why? When we opened up this place, we didn't just open it up to make money. If I can't give anything back to the community, then I might as well close the doors. Oh, that is so sweet. I wish there were more men out there like you. Mm. This isn't going to affect my salary, is it? <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? Don't you have a bunch of term papers to finish? And I'm doing them as we speak. I'm about to go finish this right now in the hot tub. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on? Well, it makes you think something's going on. You two actually enjoying each other's company? I'm thinking felony. <laughs> Everything's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not even talking to you. You lie like you're running for office. <laughs> and you, on the other hand, you can't lie. I don't have to lie. We haven't been over to Go Wise Clinic. <laughs> Way to go. Hey, I didn't tell him about the stink bomb we planted. <laughs> stink bomb? <laughs> Look, those stump man won't go near Go Wash Place after that thing goes off. Look, we built this place through hard work and by taking the high road, and that's how we're gonna land the stump man account. No prank calls, no stink bombs, and no jello in the whirlpool. Hey! No! I want your word on this. Fine, you have my word. Besides, the battle ended, oh, right about now. A package for Dr. Stanton? Don't bother to sign for it. Hey, they sent the stink bomb back! It's gonna blow! Oh, throw it in your office. Maybe it'll kill a bees. Throw it in there. Throw it in. You two. Hey, Harry. What's up? What's with all the balloons? For the kids coming over from the center. Oh, ah, you decided to give them free balloons instead of expensive therapy. Nice save. <laughs> Just relax, Max. I talked to T-Rod this morning. He promised the union he'd make his decision by tomorrow. I think we've landed that account and taken the high road. Mm -hmm. Landed what account? None of your business, you pompous, tall, sexy, ripple muscle, <coughs> bad person. Go Wire, what are you doing here anyway? I invited him over. We're going to put an end to this silly feud. Oh, good idea. Go Wire, why don't you put some honey on your head and go wait for me in my office? <laughs> that won't be necessary. You know something? This would have been a great clinic. Back in the day when it was cool to say dynamite. <laughs> You know, we don't have to take this. Easy, Max. For your information, we just remodeled the clinic. Ah, the place looks great, but mine is completely computerized. Every facet of our operation is controlled by our central computer. Oh, yeah? Well, we have... fresh juice. <laughs> Look, we're not here to snipe, all right? Let's just call a truce between our clinics before things get out of hand. Fine by me. Besides, I'm in too good a mood to fight. I just signed 400 new clients. Hey, you may know them. T-Rod Jones and the Hollywood stuntmen? <laughs> oh, that's impossible. How'd you do that? Well, let's just say, uh, we beat out your bid by $5,000 a month. What? There's no way you can make money at those prices. 
I know that. But after four months, I'll double bill them and make up the difference. By then, y'all will be out of business. Look at the bright side. You'll have a job working for me. I'm not interested in the job. Go why? You don't understand. If we don't land this account, we won't be able to help a bunch of needy kids. Oh, you'll still be able to work with the needy yourselves. <laughs> well, Mr. Turn the other cheek, what do you say now? Go wise going down. We're going to outthink him and we're going to outclass him. And if that don't work, I'll take him over my knee and spank him. <laughs> Okay, Rennell, let's see how brilliant you made me sound in philosophy. Yeah. Socrates thought he had it going on. But I'm thinking, how smart can a brother be when he can't tell a cup of poison from a cool 40 ounce? What's this? Wait a minute, Carl. I know you're not talking. You wrote me a two-page paper? Why don't you just put this in a fortune cookie? <laughs> Tiffany, what's with these typos in my English paper? What typos? Moby Duck. So when you guys went away to college, you'd actually go away. Marion, we have a life-threatening problem. Can you help us? Look, I have problems of my own. I'm out of it. Right. So we had term papers due, and each of us decided to take our best subject and write three papers so we wouldn't have to do as much work. And everybody did great on theirs and phoned the other two in. Yeah. Wow, he's smart. You guys are not silly kids anymore. You're silly adults, which means I could say, see ya. <laughs> So I guess I know what we have to do. Find out where the football players buy their papers from? <laughs> no. We got to do our own work. All right, now the War Council is called to order. Our goal is to take Goldwire down so we can get back the stuntman account and help out those needy kids. Now, what are the dirtiest, meanest, most despicable ideas you have, Max? I say we sneak over there and steal the vowels off their exit signs. <laughs> Tonya? I say we go with a classic from our country cousins. Mm -hmm. We go into Goldwire's barn and blow up his favorite cow. <laughs> what, am I alone in the world? <laughs> I say we go back to basics. The Art of War by the ancient Chinese sage Sun Tzu. Read page 27. <laughs> the English translation. Oh, look. It says, if you must engage your enemy, strike unexpectedly and with devastating effect. Believe me, nobody expects for their cow to explode. <laughs> I say we take down their computer. That's great. We knock them offline. The stuntman union can't wait for them to fix the problem. We win. Hey, well, like a wise man once said, if you strike to the head, you need not fear the sword. Uh, Sun Tzu? Nah, Bruce Lee, Fist of Fury. <laughs> That's very impressive, Spawn. <laughs> but it's a first-story window. Yeah, well, I bought all this stuff, so I'm gonna use it. Stand back. <laughs> Excuse me, 00. <laughs> With these night vision goggles, it's like daylight in here. and get this thing done. Ooh, ooh, I found something great. The central computer terminal? Better. No pictures of girlfriends on Goldwire's desk. <laughs> Tonya, keep your mind on work. Here it is. Brains of the operation. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Should have used a bigger one. Wire cutters. Wire cutters. Should've used ten snips. Smack the hell out of Max. Smack the hell out of Max. Ow! Alligator clips. Alligator clips. 